my name is Florian. Um, I'm a synthetic organic chemist by training with an MBA and I'm working with Munich Venture Partners since about three and a half years now. We invest in clean technologies, um, have two funds with uh, almost 200 million under management and um, have identified the food space as an important part of our investment strategy uh, going forward to um, make the planet more sustainable and um, Im improve the way we um, eat. Yeah, we have uh, invested in ProLupin. This is a company making uh, lupin protein isolates, um, a, a new ingredient um, in, in the industry. And um, lupin has many advantages over other plant-based proteins. Um, for one, um, it grows all over the planet, um, so you can have a regional protein supply on a global scale. It improves the soy, soil quality. That means um, it enriches the nitrogen in the soil um, and improves thus the soil quality, which is important for the farmers who grow the lupins. And um, not only is it more sustainable than other pl uh, plant uh, proteins, but also the protein we isolate has superior technical functionalities and um, a very neutral taste. And um, the protein is sold as an ingredient to the food industry, but also the company has uh, created a consumer brand out of this and um, the brand is called Made with Louvre. It is sold throughout um, major food retailers in Germany and um, the business is growing with uh, almost 20% month over month um, since um, yeah, the first half year of 2016. Yes, we are very ha happy how the company develops and um, we use the B2C brand as a showcase also for industry to, to prove to them that the consumer actually wants lupin protein products and um, that we solve problems for the consumer and um, use this also to enhance our sales to the industry. Plant-based plant protein is a great opportunity to, to invest in because you can potentially solve many problems um, with introducing a plant-based ingredient into the market. It, it all starts, um, of course, with um, the, the supply um, of, of the ingredient. Um, that means it is more sustainable, for example, than uh, animal protein. Right? Um, a ma major driver of this will obviously also be China. Um, how will their consumption of animal protein evolve? And if it increases to similar levels um, as uh, Europe, this is definitely not sustainable. So we need to think about other ways to give a similar taste experience um, that the consumer expects from um, his protein source with plant-based proteins. And um, I think this is um, an interesting opportunity. Um, there, I think there's a lot of opportunities in the dairy space, but also a lot of opportunities in, in the um, meat alternative space. Yeah, so the question really is how can you accelerate um, the market success of a protein ingredient company? And um, our approach is to really think the whole value chain through from the consumer to the B2B to the farm, right? So you have to think about the whole value chain because you're ultimately embedded in the value chain and you cannot only focus on one part of it. And um, we always start with the consumer because ultimately the consumer will need to buy the product and uh, we need to understand the drivers of the consumers to then design the product um, offering of the company.